Are you fed up with the continuous rail strikes that have been occurring across England? Do you feel like there's no end in sight for this dispute? If so, then we've got bad news for you. The train drivers union ASLEF has announced three more days of rail strikes in May and June, and it looks like there's no end in sight for the nearly year-long rail dispute. Drivers at England's government contracted train operating companies will stage three 24-hour strikes on the following dates, Friday 12th of May, Wednesday 31st of May, and Saturday 3rd of June. On top of all of this, there will also be an overtime ban in place during the week of 15 to 20 May, as well as on 13th of May and 1st of June, which is likely to create disruption. The affected companies are Avani West Coast, Chiltern Railways, Cross Country, East Midlands Railway, Great Western Railway, Greater Anglia, GTR, Great Northern and Thameslink, Ulner, Northern, Southeastern, Southern Slash Gatwick Express, South Western Railway, SWR Depot Drivers, SWR Island Line, Trans Pennine Express, and West Midlands Trains. Mick Whelan, ASLEF's General Secretary, commented on the matter saying, our executive committee met this morning and rejected a risible proposal we received from the rail delivery group. The proposal, of just 4%, was clearly not designed to be accepted as inflation is still running north of 10% and our members at these companies have not had an increase for four years. Compensation seems to be an issue, as the 4% offer runs some way short of the increase offered to members of the RMT union of 9% over two years with a bigger rise for the lowest paid. Although ASLEF drivers are paid more than train crew and station staff in the RMT, they are still expecting a national minimum nearer inflation as a starting point for all its drivers. The RMT is still deliberating on its response to the offer and is still deciding what moves to take. However, the train drivers from ASLEF have expressed that they are unhappy with the offer, feel like it's not enough, and therefore will go on strike for three days in May and June. We understand why everyone is getting increasingly frustrated with this situation. We will keep you updated on the situation and make sure that you are as informed as possible. Until next time.